in this example, I am going to look at several sample comp calculations involving the magnetic force. Let's begin by looking at our first one. We have a charge moving at 2 meters per second parallel to a 3 tesla magnetic field. What is the force on it? So, as always, I begin by drawing myself a picture. So here is my magnetic field. It's not specified, but it doesn't really matter. Remember, field is given by B. It's moving at 2 meters per second parallel to it. And immediately after drawing the picture, I see, hey, look, field and velocity are parallel, and that is one of the situation when the magnetic force is zero. So the force is zero newtons. Here we have a magnetic field of two tesla. So again, I'm just going to draw that in. Right? And we have a charge sitting at rest in it. What is its acceleration? Well, here's my charge, ignoring anything else that might be going on, like gravity and whatnot. What forces are on it? Well, you might be thinking the magnetic force. So let's just put one on. We don't know what direction it'll be in, but that's OK. We know that's given by QVB, and I think, oh, wait. It's at rest. V equals zero. Therefore, there is no force on it. So there is no acceleration. OK, enough with the trick questions. Here we have a charge actually moving in a magnetic field. It doesn't say that it is moving perpendicular, but um, We'll just add it at the top. Perpend, yeah, no, that's not spelled correctly. Anyway, perpendicular, not spelled correctly. So a three kilogram, one coulomb charge is moving at four meters per second, uh, perpendicular to a two tesla magnetic field. So here's my field. This is two tesla. Here's my charge. We'll make it moving perpendicular to the width in my ability to draw it and this is 4 meters per second. So if we think about the forces on it, we know that there will be a magnetic force. We don't know the direction, but that's okay. We can still find an acceleration. We have to use Newton's second law from week three. F net, the net force is going to be caused by the magnetic force. The magnetic force is QVB. We are told it's a one coulomb charge. We're told that the speed is four meters per second. We're told that the field is two tesla. The mass is three kilograms. And we want to know the acceleration. It might help. I mean, I labeled everything up here in the the um, problem statement, but you can write kind of like a grocery list for this, too, if you want. Okay, so 4 times 2 is 8. So we get 8 equals 3A, and so the acceleration is 8 third meters per second squared. And if you put that into a calculator, if you want to, that's 2.67 meters per second squared. Next, we have a 0 0.3 kilogram charge. That tells me a mass. It's moving at 2 meters per second. That's a velocity. Here we're told perpendicular, yay, to a magnetic field. And it experiences an acceleration. So this is an acceleration. Um, so that's an A. What is its charge? Now, we are not told, but in order to do this problem, we need to know what the magnetic field is. So let's assume a value of 5 tesla for our magnetic field, just so that we can do the problem. And again, a picture is helpful. So here is my 5 tesla field. We're told the velocity is perpendicular to it, to within my ability to draw here, guys. 
right? And if we look at the free body diagram of the particle, there's only one force on it, that is the magnetic force, so F net E equals MA. The mass, we're told, is 0 0.3. The acceleration is 1, so the net force has to be 0 0.3 newtons. And that is given by only this magnetic force. Magnetic force, recall, is QVB when we're moving perpendicular. So I can plug that in. So Q is the velocity, which is 2, times the field, which we made up to be 5. So 10Q equals 0 0.3, or Q equals 0 0.3 divided by 10, which is 0, 0.0, oops, 3 coulombs. And for our last example, we have a 5 Newton force when it's moving at 3 meters per second in a 4 Tesla field. How big is the charge? This one we can just do with F equals QVB. We're going to assume again that all the motion is perpendicular to the, to the field. So we are told a 5 Newton force. Q is what we want to know. We have a 3 meters per second speed and a field of 4. So 5 equals 12 Q or Q equals 5 twelfths. I divide that out on a calculator. That's 0 0.42 coulombs.